super glad to be on your screen today my name is Shiko so today I'm gonna to be doing a part two of the um, culture shock that I experienced when I came to the US I've already done part one if you want to you can go back to the videos and watch it and also please please guys subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up and also please comment down below so we can have a conversation in the comments also hit the notification bell down below so that anytime I drop a new video you're gonna be in the know okay let's get to it now so I'm gonna be talking about supermarkets now here supermarkets are really really big they are humongous it's like um it's like a like a I don't even know what to say like when I came home and I saw like neighbors and you remember how Nakuma was like that's like a mini mat now because here they are really really big you can get in you can, some people even drive inside a supermarket but not driving cars just driving like the cut the, the cut the chair and you know, whatever the whole thing that one like a like a tuk tukish somehow yeah and then also another thing that shocked me about here is the patriotism these people love their country imagine just putting your flag your kenyan flag outside your house apple to inje kwanza even building it building a thing for it kwa nyumba at it sticking out of your your front door can you imagine they love their country in fact even their roads most of the roads then is not jungle is like car like thicker highway you know they have their own like a stamp nikamaki it's like a logo for the for the country they like texas <laughs> like they they really like their country they love everything about it and even you know even if you are okay was kia wakio they just love their country americans and their country much at too and then the fake smile guys you know i used to hear about this that you oh these people like americans they have the fake smile like you'd meet them on the road they'd be like and then once I'm exmalia to evil, next me it go. Okay, it's like this. Ah, oh, you'd be just shocked. You'd be like, what? What are you trying? I mean, they they usually, and then they smile at everyone. You can just meet it. It's even tiresome sometimes. When I came, it used to bother me because every time, okay, meet him to go. Mpitane too much. Everybody. So you you umakuta too dashina too. Like that, and it was just tiresome. But then it was where it's just it's just normal and then another thing yeah people don't don't have assumptions about your race it's like a taboo people won't come up to me and be like you're from kenya no they have to we have to maybe talk and then maybe we're in a conversation not to mezoyana then that's when you can ask me where are you from are you from around here are you from texas like someone asked me are you a Houstonian? like have you lived here all your life that because they want to know but they never just assume like oh you're african oh you look like you're from kenya mm. now i don't get at the country the main thing they just know if you have an accent we're an african if you look like a chinese you're an asian everybody asian everybody african our jungle our jungle could differentiate and they would never even try to assume your your race another thing is i'm braiding here let me tell you guys it is something that really 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 gives me a headache it's my hair because okay like just this this um this is crochet guess how much this is it is 80 dollars that's eight thousand kenya shillings now see in your level that is just braiding when you know shukwa you go with your hair you go buy your hair at a beauty store and then you go get braided on a party home to 80 dollars now probably the hair is around four thousand so we end up to me more than twelve thousand for your hair. Can you imagine? And then the other thing is that um, people here at our mezoya, you know, can only like two months. For me, I really like to do my hair like every three weeks. Not like I could just change my style or something. Cause yeah, really, it's not right now. When I think about it, when after seeing this hair is cheap, new bunny. I'm just asking her to like you just when I come home to visit, I feel like I'm going to be shoppered like ten styles and then just come with them or just come with wigs in my shop or something. Because yeah, you just survive with wigs and your hair. I love it just hurts to make your hair because it's a lot of money. Okay, if you care about your hair, you just... But there are people who don't really know how to make their hair. Me, I've even tried YouTube. I don't even have that time. I don't have that patience. I don't know if It's just too much for me. I can't do it. I love my hair. It's the hard kind, you know. So, Kuichana, the best I can do is just to blow dry it. I just wash, blow dry wig. Wash, blow dry wig. But then, you know, because you have you, you, because of the heat. You know, just like I talked in the first uh, video, part one, the heat. So, here, it's really hot. Now, imagine with a wig. It's just something else guys when you if you know how to do here by the way and you come here oh you're making it i've met i've met ladies nigerian ladies congolese ladies 
That's what they're doing. They're just making hair for a living. This person is paying rent. They're paying their car note. They're paying their bills here. Kushuka to imagine. Just imagine. I've tried. I've even bought a dummy to shuka. I, I don't know. I don't have the... I don't know if I... Ni patient sina. I just can't get it right. But I do know how kumaliza shidangu ni kufix. I don't even know. But I really have to do something about that. And then another thing is that... Huh, so the thing here, if you're a social butterfly, like I was at home, be prepared to suffer. Here there's no that life. That just let go of that one. At Here there's nothing like that. Unless if you come with like your friends or if you find your family um, who is here, they like, like to go out. Am I you in the same age group? Then you're in luck. But if you come here, and you meet you're not in the same age group with your family and you don't have any friends and yeah it's so hard to make friends my guys it is so hard because first of all everybody is busy here it's you know when you're home to just manga time is money don't waste my time that is just a saying my people here it is real time is money so nobody has time to come and hang around i think waste time that's they'd be making money that, that one hour two hours so unless they really want to they won't make time for you here even time is really appreciated like if you have a birthday and then people show up that's a really big deal a really big deal by the way people just don't show up like that because time is money guys it is really and then um yeah so when you come here and you don't have friends be prepared to be online all the time or just look for something to do because now that that whole social thing otherwise you're gonna um, video video chat to your friends for a while and then life moves on and then you're gonna be you meet one person two people if you're lucky and that's it and by the way you know I've noticed you see yeah uh, when you couples people get married I've met people who've been married 50 years like I meet someone and they tell me that they've been um is there like maybe they ha they're having a party and then they tell me it's their 60th anniversary 60th so you've been with this person for 60 years why do you think you know, it used to it used to make me wonder, but then it makes sense. That's why white people they last with their husbands. Miaka mingi zana. You know, kuta couples when ishi miaka na miaka. Kume, it's because apa kuna your social life. So this one person, they're your friend, they're your boo thing, they're your everything. Akuna kwa chana, you better stick together. I won't end up suffer back yako. Yeah, now it really actually makes sense to me. Anyway, another thing is minding your own business. That's what I really like about this place, kinda because. I think I, yeah, I kind of like it because nobody will ask you anything. People mind their own business. You see, like for example, right now if I go outside and just sit on the road down on the floor, nobody will even care. They're just gonna pass me by. Maybe one person, maybe an old lady, when you are gonna duck, would just ask me or like a Karen lady, and like, what are you doing? But nobody cares. Everybody's minding their own business. What I could be the art when you can find muduru, um, muduru is some assault. So even if you go and do some assaults on in the mall, what a pondo care to what a pita, they'll just cut their way around and leave you there with your somersaults and be you know, and they are very, very Americans. Americans are very open minded. Miss you're not open minded evil. Like right now, we can and be to I I identify as a twelve year old. My friend, they will believe it. I usually tell my cousin, I tell her I'm eight years old. Oh gosh, she believes it. I don't know okay i don't know if she's pleading me or she's just she just like um let me just agree because i don't want you know i don't want to judge you whatever but she agrees with me imagine <laughs> it's just amazing to be but that's how it is here people mind their own business they don't care they don't ask you anything and the same for them don't ask them about their life you mind your own business they mind their own business which is really good and then another thing is that there are so many nationalities there are so many you have there, I mean, to wing sana, and even you, you meet someone, they are talking along, they are talking an English work on an accent, very heavy, and you, ama you're calling like your T-Mobile um customer care, like for example, like Safari Com, and you're calling them, and you really have to but you can't be rude like i can't hear what you're saying can you give some you can't ever say such a thing so you have to be patient and listen because you have to think about it this way even them they're tolerating your accent or someone else is tolerating your accent so there's no way at in oh i can't hear what you're saying you have to speak up or, or give someone else mm, you can't do that so everybody up they are very careful not to offend someone because of their accent because this is actually an immigrant 
um, country because everybody, this place was built for immigrants, they're everywhere. And then another thing is that people have so many clothes. I'm telling you, people have so many clothes. The people I've met, if I go to their house, my family members kill a mob. And I don't know why. Let me tell you. Myself, I'm also a victim. I have so many clothes. I don't know. Nasiati there you can't say they're cheap because you know, still I'm still counting money as Kenyan money, but I mean I don't understand so many. So many like you can have like fifty fifty tops, a hundred pens shoes i think but then you know i realized that people love to shop people love to shop in america i mean what else are you gonna do you know you don't have you you're you're off and you don't have somewhere to go you don't have anybody to hook up with i mean to go visit or whatever Utafanya, you go into shopping and then you end up buying stuff that's the that, that's what i've thought about that's the only explanation that's what people do that's what i think another thing is that um People, the roads here, the roads here are really, really something else. There are roads, I mean, it's like a, a, what is it called, a roller coaster. In fact, the first time I was, the, from when I started driving, it was really, really crazy for me because I was really scared. I even had panic attacks when I'm driving. And don't say that it's not real, that the Africans don't have panic attacks, it's real. Me used to, I love me, young Unibaya because I hate myself. So I'm like, Okay, okay. I'm like that, and then I stuka, and then I, I stusha myself more. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Like stuka, and I just stop. I'm like, oh my god. I ha Sometimes I even have to stop first and then breathe because na stuka, because una kuta na gari mob, and then kuna speed limits. Kuna even up to seventy. I don't know how much seventy is here. I don't know how to to nini at home, but that's pretty very very fast so you have to keep up and it's just crazy but then finally i used to push myself i used to even when saying you go off i just make sure um i make sure that i'm going so i can sorry because i just saw that if this was where i'm gonna end up suffering you know so i thought that was the best thing to do i just forced myself to go and um really what i uh the the only thing i can say is that the most um um important thing i've seen here is that overall of everything america humbles you because people here wako hawako neyo you know like how ati kuna kuva ati watu uva ati you know how home you really dress and i don't know why we do that by the way but home you really dress and it's good to dress up by the way but here kunanga chaivo you can meet someone and they are multi-millionaires but they're wearing tights and a top that's the thing. People don't even dress up here. So America, I think America really humbles you. Plus, and I imagine when you start from the kind of jobs you guys, you know the kind of jobs you do first when you come here. It's just crazy. I'm going to do a, a video talking about the jobs they, that are here and the, the payments and the, what you expected of, the types of jobs, how to get those jobs and stuff. And then you can, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm really glad that you watched my video. Thank you so much. Please subscribe. Please comment down below. Please like and share. And also please hit the notification bell so you can know when I drop a new video. Thanks so much for watching my video. Have a wonderful day or night or whatever. Bye-bye.